Yeah. <laughs> Crab Tendo. What is going on everybody, DJ Ev here, and I'm mad excited about this right here because I've been waiting for Core Gadgets to come to Windows for a long time. It's finally here, and we get to check it out, and I got FL Studio open, and I have some crazy dance hall Afro beat type stuff I made with it, so let's get into it right now. For all the people that don't know about Core Gadgets, Core Gadgets 2 is an iOS app that was updated recently and I covered it on the channel and I plan on doing like a full on review and talk about the things I don't like about it too as well but the Windows version is here. I have some gripes but at the same time it is fantastic. It also works as a NKS format so I know a lot of you guys that are about the Machine Mark 3 will love that because I do as well. Alright so here is the demo track right here and we're gonna check it out. What I really like about this package is that it comes with 40 plugins. So it's $150 for 40 plugins. Uh, not all instruments, of course. Uh, down here, you see a Durban uh, bass effect process, which I'll get into in a little bit. But I want to bring your attention to this. this is what I played the lead with. If I can remember the chords. All right, so. Basically, what I did there was use this, and this is a polyphonic ambient synthesizer. I can't pronounce that name, so I'm not going to try, but you see there's a ton of sounds that come with it. I was just ready to go. And this is very modern, so that's another thing. When you get sounds, you really want to get sounds that are going to be useful to you immediately. And this is something that I really wanted to do. Oh, shucks. That's a dope sound. So, you know, this things that I wanted to point out there. Uh, there is some bass, too. Like, there's a bass that I used. And I think it might be processed a little bit. Goblin Blaze that I used. And I also use this one right here. Again, this is Dublin. It's not that hard to pronounce, so I can use that. And as you see, you can mess with a lot of the GUI here because it has like a VCO, VCO2. Of course, this is not a real VCO because it's in the digital world, so it'd be just an oscillator. Other bass. That'd be pretty good for like oh, drum and bass because that sounds very drum and bass like. Then we have this. Chiang Mai. Looks like a court Volca. It's a very interesting synthesizer here as I mess up my beat. But uh, it's really dope. But really, what I really like about this is this part. I'm going to go ahead and access the drums. Right 
here. This this particular module right here, this uh, Durban, this I used on my kick, and I'm gonna go ahead and solo the kick. I already got it looped up here. Kick bump, boom. See, the kick is very massive. I have a limiter here, but I'm side chaining into the bass. Of course, you know how that, that works. See here. There we go. Um, turn it off so you can hear the regular kick. Unprocessed. And it just has a vibe to it. Well, get several presets and stuff for effects. That's combo. Might help if I actually turned it back on. Let me go ahead and detach. Again, mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn it off one more time. The original kick. I did pull this up in Ableton Live, and it's a bit more organized in Ableton than it is in FL, and that's just a DAW thing. But you know, I just want to cook up in FL for you guys. But yeah, it works very well in both DAWs, just from my extension. I have a, a crap ton of them open and they uh, have different effects. Here's Rosario here. Uh, Rosario is a guitar effect that comes with the package. And I don't have anything really set up to where I could display that very well. I will definitely do a video in the future of a preset tour so everybody can hear all the sounds all in one collective so you know they can really decide. But you know, I thought this video would be helpful to everybody. All right, so we have this plugin right here that's good for your general MIDI right here, and you know I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not gonna go ahead and make a ass myself. So let's play something. <laughs> that's pretty good. You know, I have pianos and stuff. So if you're just a preset guy, this is a pretty good package for you. So let me know how you feel about core gadgets in the comment section, because I really want to know how you feel about the plugins being available for any DAW that you like. I know a lot of people's gripes about core gadgets is that it has great sounds, but they do not like the workflow on the iOS. So now you get to choose your workflow in the DAW that you want on your favorite laptop or desktop. Right now, the price is really good. At $150, you get 40 plugins, so that's a pretty good deal. I mean, I'm not trying to sell you on something that I already bought myself, but you know, I really like it, and I definitely will give it the stamp of approval because I will use it again, because that's the reason why I like core gadgets in the first place. Boom!